group of protesters trying to occupy Civic Center Park lasted only one night. Their camp is no longer there. All of the activity we saw lasted less than two hours. Everything's quieted down now. Nine News reporter Ryan Hare when it all was there when it all went down. Ryan. Hi guys, I apologize. Obviously we're having some technical difficulties out here in the field, but uh, this this Occupy protest, we'll call it, was organized by the Afro Liberation Front. That's what they call themselves. A couple dozen people planned to stay in this corner of Civic Center Park for as long as they could uh, until police and Parks and Rec kicked them out, which they did tonight because they are going against uh, city laws and, and curfew rules in the park. And so after a couple hours of intense escalating negotiations uh, of police asking protesters to, to leave this park, officers put on helmets and moved toward the camp, forcing them to tear it down. And Parks and Rec workers also moved in with police and took down some of these barriers. About a dozen Parks and Rec workers actually pulled those barriers down when police moved in uh, to these protesters who were yelling at police uh, and actually trashed those barriers. And so uh, uh, many of these people who are out here are experiencing homelessness. The main message of the Afro Liberation Front, uh, they tell me, is to defund the police department and put money back into services like homelessness. Uh, the founder of the Afro Liberation Front says this encampment is a place where those folks who are experiencing homelessness can feel safe and a part of the community. We talked to him before all of the unrest earlier today. Here's that. This is immediate action right now that is helping the community that you don't need to disrupt. We are helping people. Like, if you leave us alone, we will continue to help people and also ask you to listen to us and consider our demands about how we want this community to be run. So I asked Gabriel Levine, that's that gentleman's name, if he wanted this to be like an autonomous zone, like we've seen in Seattle in recent weeks. And he told me absolutely not, uh, that they still need the community and wanted the community to be a part of this conversation. I actually reached out, guys, to uh, Teresa Marchetta, the director of communications for Mayor Hancock's office, and she told me that the city was operating under the impression uh, that this group did want to create an autonomous zone and that that played a role, uh, among other things, into why they came through this area and moved these folks along today. All right, Brian here reporting. Thank you, Ryan.